So from time to time here on the channel, I make videos where I just sort of go on a rant where there is very minimal editing uh, and my goal is to basically just share my perspective on uh, what's happening inside of the, the print on demand community, uh, especially with people that are new or, or those that aren't new but are attempting to open a successful print on demand store. I want to reference a post right here. This is inside of the POD Ninjas uh, Facebook group. If you guys are not a member and you want to check it out, uh, there's a link down in the description. Right now we got over 41,000 people in it. And this is a post here uh, from Neil. And this is really just going to be the focus of uh, the video today. Like I said, there's going to be very minimal editing here. It's me talking to you. Uh, feel free to put the video on like uh, a faster speed so that way you can watch it and hear me if you don't feel like sitting here for a while. Or uh, if this isn't your type of thing, then I guess you could just click off the video. But what I'm going to try to do is give a whole bunch of tips uh, to to you. I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you are someone that uh, is either brand new to print on demand, you don't have a store yet, you're just looking to get into it, you're not really sure what you want to do, uh, or maybe you're someone who is literally in the process of getting things started, uh, or maybe you're like Neil uh, and you have already invested a decent amount of money into it uh, and you're not getting any sales and you're trying to figure out why. Hopefully what we talk about here in this video uh, will help you a little bit. And as always, if you guys enjoy the content, drop a like. Uh, that's going to help my channel to grow. Uh, a lot of work does go into the videos that I make here every single week. So if you do enjoy it, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, like the video that helps the channel to grow. Uh, and I do appreciate it. So let's jump in uh, to Neil's post, right? He starts it off and he says, I uh, have spent almost 500 bucks on on ads, right? Facebook ads would really appreciate some feedback or uh, advice, right? He says that the basic idea that he had was to put encouraging phrases like you matter, you are loved, etc. on clothes and appeal to a person's desire to spread positive energy, love and good vibes, right? He said that he's also tried to make uh, designs appealing to a younger audience, but maybe the most most of the stuff I have looks like it was made in paint or something, right? He then talks a little bit about who he is attempting to target, right? So when he's launching Facebook ads, he's talking about the different types of interest that he's using. Uh, and then he mentions, you know, as far as ads go, I've tried using plain mock-ups uh, and mock-ups from Placeit, which show someone wearing the shirt, right? You then see down the bottom, uh, he mentions, not sure what to do from here besides trying my luck on TikTok, uh, which, we'll, which we'll talk about later. Uh, just posting videos, uh, wearing a tee from my store and hoping it goes viral somehow, which we'll talk about later. Uh, or uh, he might just have to cut his losses, give up, and try some other online business. $500 spent without a single sale is really bad. Now, after Neil made this post, there was a whole bunch of people, including me uh, and some others that were telling him some of the things that they thought he needed to, to fix, which we'll look at, but uh, the store is no longer viewable. Um, Neil, if you're, if you're watching, what I was trying to do in making this video uh, is to showcase what you've done and kind of give some actual pointers here. Uh, so Neil's store, he's put a password on it. Uh, it looks like he's taking a little bit of a break, but uh, so we're not actually going to be able to look at the store. But what we can do uh, is look at some of the comments and talk through a little bit about uh, what he uh, was doing. My comment here, right? I basically said, you don't have a niche. I don't think changing the way you market your stuff is going uh, to change the result, right? Because in here, he talked about, maybe I'll just go to TikTok, right? Maybe I'll try uh, other marketing strategies. And my, my point was a lot of times when people don't have success uh, with, with one method, whether they are listing products on Etsy or whether they're using Facebook ads or Instagram influencers or whatever, they think that if they change the way they're marketing things, then it could change the results. And most times it's going to come back uh, to a great comment here uh, by Christopher, right? Basically, after I made my con uh, comment, I shared uh, a couple of videos here. Basically, what Neil was doing 
uh, before I read Christopher's comment, uh, I mentioned in my comment he doesn't have a niche, right? And like I said, we can't do, we can't, I can't actually show the store because it has a password on it. Uh, he replied and says, thanks for the reply. I didn't give my niche much thought. I, I guess I just went with something I, th I thought I'd feel good doing. I saw a clothing item with a similar concept attached to pick go viral last year, and that's pretty much what got me thinking this could potentially work. So he shared this image here, right, which is essentially a shirt, a, t a hoodie, right, with the text, really simple, plain, basic text on it that says, dear person behind me, I hope today turns out great, lots of love, the person in front of you. So he saw this go viral, right? You can see that it has 40,000 likes, and I just responded, and I said, hey, that seems like something, maybe a lot of people click the like button on, but that doesn't mean people actually paid money for that, right? Neil's problem is that he didn't have a niche, right? And uh, you can see here in Christopher's uh, comment, right? He said, the print-on-demand business model is like a tripod. It has three legs, niche, design, and store. When all three of these things are applied to your print-on-demand business model, magic happens, right? That's exactly what I talk about all of the time here on my channel. Like I said in the beginning, this video is for people uh, that are either just jumping into print on demand, maybe you already are in the process of opening a store, or maybe you're like Neil and you're running a store that is not doing well. If you jump into print on demand and you don't have a good idea on what you actually want to sell, you are not likely going to succeed because you're going to do something that is too general, right? You're going to pick something kind of like what Neil did, something that you are very interested in. But when it comes to promoting the products to the masses, it might be a little bit difficult for you to succeed with those. You can see here in the comments that uh, someone named Ember said, I think you need to work on the actual designs or maybe just hire a designer. Uh, you can see things down here as well from Lucas. Besides what Joe mentioned, I do want, I don't want to be too harsh, but I think you should definitely hire a professional uh, designer, right? If, if you continue to scroll through, there is uh, a bunch of people that were talking about him needing to hire a designer, which is another thing that I see a lot of beginners do is they jump into print on demand and they think that they're just going to all of a sudden become a graphic designer. And a lot of times that's not going to be the case. If you are not someone who has a lot of experience in graphic design, the odds of you being able to then be good at graphic design quickly is probably pretty slim, right? It's probably not going to be something that is end up uh, going to is going to end up working out. And I think there's, you know, really uh, a, a really uh, bad trend right now uh, in, in within the print on demand community, right? If you're someone who has been watching my content for a while, uh, you may have noticed some of this stuff as well, right? Like I showed you in the beginning, we have the POD Ninja's Facebook group. There's over 40,000 members inside of it. And what I see all the time is people join they become super active in the group, they're asking questions, they're replying to other people's posts, and they're becoming an active member of the community because they're excited and they're jumping into print on demand. And they start their store, and I'm not saying that they ignore my advice, I never wanna, I never wanna seem like I think I know everything or that my way is the only way, but they, 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 they seemingly ignore my advice. I, if I could show you Neil's store, I would say this store is doing exactly what I say not to do. I have tons of videos here on my channel where I review stores and I talk about how, hey, this, this store doesn't have a niche or, hey, this product is too saturated, right? Maybe they're choosing a shirt. Maybe their designs are no good. And I say, hey, you need to hire a designer. And then they don't. And then they end up, you know, doing what Neil did. I'm not saying it was actually Neil that is doing this, but I'm just saying I've seen this pattern over and over and over again. You can see a, a comment here uh, from Terry. Have you watched any of Joe's videos? That's because I talk about this stuff all of the time. And, and basically what I was getting at is I see so many people that quit print on demand within the first hundred days, because what they do is they have an idea, they jump into that idea really quickly, they spend two months from building out the store and working on designs and learning how to gra do graphic design. And, and it almost becomes like a creative outlet for them. It almost becomes a fun thing for them to do. At the end of the day, they're kind of learning how to do designs. And they think they think, you know, they're excited, right? And, and I don't blame them. This is exciting. But once they actually launch, they end up what's the, the same thing that happened to Neil, right? He spent, you see right here, right? Almost almost $500 on ads without a single sale, right? Because they go online and they watch videos and they see people on YouTube talking about how, you know, how easy it is to start a t-shirt brand and uh, they just kind of run with it and they start investing a bunch of cash. And then when they don't get success, right? When they end up where Neil is at, where it's been, you know, two months, three months, and they're out, you know, $500 on, on ads, they think to themselves, hmm, well, maybe I'll try my luck 
on TikTok, right? Or maybe I'll just post videos wearing a tee from my store and hope it goes viral, right? They'll sort of think of these different ways to market their products, right? Maybe they're on Shopify and they say to themselves, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close down the Shopify store and I'm just gonna bring it over to Etsy, right? Because I see a lot of people talking about success on Etsy or maybe they say, oh, you know what? I'm gonna close down Shopify. I'm gonna bring it over to Amazon, right? Because I see a lot of people having success there. And the problem is, Every platform is hard. No matter how you are promoting your products, it is hard. And if you don't have good products, none of them are going to work. The platform is not the secret to success. What you're selling is the key to success, right? And that's why I see so many beginners quit because they get discouraged, right? They kind of go into this with their, with their eyes closed or with blinders on thinking that their idea is, is amazing. Right? And I'm not saying that I may, I'm not saying that people don't have good ideas, right? We're here. We're all here. Uh, you, if you're watching this video this long, we're about 10 minutes into it. I'm assuming you're here because you're looking to create a side hustle with print on demand. You're looking for something that you can run online to make some extra money. Uh, you're not trying to be a millionaire. You're not trying to buy Lamborghinis. You're just trying to create a side hustle. And you're not going to do that by creating products that you love, right? If you look back at what Neil was talking about right he mentioned um where is it here uh where is it where is it where is it i think it was in one of his comments um where to go somewhere in here uh right here i didn't give my niche much thought i guess i just went with something i thought i'd feel good doing which is great you definitely don't want to create stuff that you are going to like feel bad about but this business model is not for you you are not creating products for yourself if you are running a print on demand store and you're not doing it with the intention to create income then i don't know why you're doing it if you're just doing it for fun that's fine but don't be surprised when you spend a bunch of money on advertising and you don't make uh, any sales right you have to look at this as a real business right print on demand if you're watching this video this far I'm going to I'm going to layer something in here. This is hopefully going to going to change your life in the sense of like this once you realize this, right? About print on demand, you are going to be in a much better place because print on demand is like I said, it's not about creating products for you. It's not about creating something that you feel good about. Print on demand is about creating tacky designs that represent a very passionate niche and selling them to them, right? The idea is basically choose a great niche, right? Choose something that people are passionate about, people that, something that they identify with, right? When you're creating a print on demand product, you want when someone scrolls by it in their newsfeed, right? Or, or on whatever social media platform, you want them to see your product and view it as if it is a way for them to brag to other people that they are a member of the niche, essentially, right? That's essentially what it comes down to. You are selling products that represent specific niches. And the idea is uh, if you can layer in emotional things or funny things, right? Then you can, you can scale it a little bit, a little bit more, right? And so many people create abstract things they they I, I will have conversations with people all the time uh they will say things like hey joe i'm an artist and i want to sell my art uh can, you know what do you recommend for me and i'll say well you know this this business model i don't know if it's perfect for that because really what i recommend is people to use direct response marketing right if you if you don't know what that is it basically means you going to the customer meaning you promoting to them whether it is with a paid ad whether it's with an instagram influencer post whether it's with something on your own social media that you are hoping they see right if you're trying to sell art right most times people are seeking that out rarely do people just start scrolling you know their phone and stumble across an artist and make a purchase that day right maybe long term if you focus on a personal brand for yourself as an artist and then you should create a merch store for yourself, that's fine. But my, my strategy, the one that I teach, the one that, ha that has led to numerous successful print on demand brands for myself and millions of dollars in client sales at this point is focusing on being one product away, right? Being one product away is a mindset. It is basically you understanding that if you can have the perfect combination of a niche of a product choice and a design if you can make an awesome combination of those three 
then you can scale it to the moon, right? Because you can start showing that product with ads, you can work with influencers, and simultaneously, you can focus on growing your own social media, whether it's on Instagram, Pinterest, or whatever. And it's going to, you know, if you get the winning product, right, the, the perfect combination, you, you can scale that, right? That's my mentality with print on demand, right? That's what I've done. That's what I teach. Uh, and the, when I see people do things differently than that, or when they don't uh, embrace that, they they tend uh, to end up uh, like Neil, right? Like, like Neil's post here. And I'm, again, I never want to make content making it appear uh, that I am thinking that I know everything. I, I definitely don't. I get proved wrong all the time. Ask my wife. Um, I'm just saying, I've seen lots of things at this point. My The POD Ninja's Facebook group has over 40,000 people in it, which means I've seen a lot of stories like Neil. I've seen a lot of people make posts talking about not making sales. I even have hundreds of people that I've worked with directly inside of my training program. So that means I've seen people create, I've actually watched people put things together and either succeed or fail. So I think at this point, all of that experience coupled with the things that I've done on my own stores, I have a pretty good understanding about what's going to work, what's not. Obviously, there's going to be times when I have no idea what I'm talking about. And there's certainly been designs that I did not think were going to sell uh, that clients had showed to me or that even designs I had myself and they ended up doing okay, right? I'm just saying, for the most part, when it comes to print on demand, you need to have a winning product. You need to have a solid foundation in your niche. That is what's going to get people interested in what you are doing. Uh, product choice is is going to make them want to buy and then designs is going to uh, seal the deal, right? If, if you want more information about all this, all these concepts, go to the POD Ninjas Facebook group right here, click on the guide section of uh, the group and uh, you'll be able to scroll through all these awesome resources that we have for you uh, here inside of the group. And like I said, hopefully, this video was okay. Like I said, not too much editing here. Usually I like to show a whole bunch of examples of things and, and different things like that. I really just wanted to make a video and talk for a long time and hopefully uh, help somebody. If you did get something out of it, drop a like on the video. And um, that's all I got for today, folks. I'll see you next time.